You have the power of what it takes to create and build your own future. The one that you love, you want, thrive in, are happy in, and have everything you want. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about how to rearrange and organize your life in order to create the future of your dreams because only you have the power to do that, but you have to act on it. Nothing changes unless you create that change. So let's figure out step by step how to start to do that. So the first thing that we wanna do is take a look at what needs are not being met because sometimes we don't even realize that some of our basic needs are not being met. So I want to go ahead and take a look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs to get started with this one. So at the bottom of the pyramid, we have our physiological needs such as food, oxygen, water, sleep. All of these are very important in just keeping us alive. The next part of the pyramid is your safety. You have a roof over your head. You feel like you can bathe every day. You feel protected and safe. The next part of the pyramid is loving and blind so your friendships, your family, sexual intimacy, or um, you know, just contact with another human being in general. Um, I remember a part in my life where I was single for a really long time, and like not kissing somebody for that long period of time was like kind of weird. I was just there came a day one day where I'm just like I want to kiss somebody. I'm like I just want to kiss somebody. I need a kiss. I mean I'm definitely a hugger. I hate hate handshakes. They're awkward. I love hug. Not only does it help me feel better, but I feel like I help somebody else feel better. And hugging somebody can really help to boost your self-esteem and mood for the day. So I definitely recommend giving somebody a hug today, okay? <laughs> Hugs are free. The next part of the pyramid moving along here is esteem. So your self-esteem, your confidence, your achievements, uh, respect of others and by others. Um, you're gonna feel better self-esteem when you are feeling loved, again, from that lower uh, section there. You're able to have better self-esteem when you're respecting others. You're more likely to get respected by others. So that's also going to help your self-esteem. Um, achievements, you know, we can work on those. Those are things that you can set goals for, set plans for, which we're going to get to later on in this video. The next part of this pyramid moving on to the top portion is the self-actualization. So this is going to be things about yourself, such as being creative or being spontaneity, being spontaneous uh solving problems this is the toughest one to achieve and mark off the list as it's accomplished and fulfilled because all of those things below it have to be checked off in order for that top one to be checked off so working from the bottom up is how we achieve all of our needs so once we make that list of needs that are not being met then we are able to prioritize them and look at the things that need to change because the second thing here here is prioritizing prioritizing what needs need to be met what things are most important to you what things are lacking or that you are slacking on or that are being missed or things that you want to get back into self-care and time for yourself definitely needs to be a priority because you can't take care of anybody else before you take care of yourself. You have to be good and at one with yourself before you are able to truly and fully help others with your greatest potential. Creating routines is going to help you keep those priorities in check, help you uh, keep up on your self-care. Self-care is very important. That should definitely be a priority because that goes along with you first. Suggestion number three is gonna be the actual restructuring of your life. So step number one could be to change your availability at work. Now I understand that not everybody is going to be able to do that because we all have to make a certain amount of money to pay our bills, right? I completely get that. Some of us have kids, I get that too. I can't wait till I have a kid. You'll be surprised if you actually take a look and try in the little bit of time that you can free up. Canceling non-serving activities such as 
smoking cigarettes, watch less TV, less of this scrolling through the phone. If you schedule or carve out and make the time for those priorities, you're going to be more likely to actually do them because you created that time, you carved out that time, it's written on your schedule for you to do it. So treat it just like any other appointment and it's on your schedule, go and do that. You created that time specifically for that to get that need met, so go and do that and make that action to create that future. The next suggestion I have for you guys is to create a list of goals. These can be any kind of goals, big or small. And then I want you to go ahead and categorize those, whether they are financial, personal, home, family, physical, things like that. So that then you can do what the next suggestion is, which is create a plan. So after you make your list of goals and categorize them, then we are able to make a plan to start on those goals. So let's start with our fitness goals, okay? We might have a plan or a goal to lose 10 pounds be healthier in general, right? Eat healthier food. So to create that plan, what we would start by doing is making a grocery list, meal planning every week, meal prepping every week, maybe Sundays and Thursdays or Mondays and Thursdays or whatever works best for you. Carve out that time to create that grocery list, go to the grocery store, prep those meals so that you have healthy options always at the ready for you. Maybe one of your goals is having a cleaner house. So the plan for having a cleaner house, I would suggest would be picking a room for each day and making that as part of your schedule. Each day at two o'clock, you clean a different room. So the key takeaways of how to reorganize, restructure your life in order to create your own future is one, find out what needs are not being met to prioritize, three, rearrange, reorganize, restructure, four, list your goals, and five, make a plan. Remember that nothing changes without you making the change. If you want to build a life that you want and are happy in and thrive in, then you have to make those changes. Nothing's gonna happen unless you make it happen and you have the power to make it happen. So make it happen. If you wanna learn more about the law of attraction and manifestation, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell so we can reconnect every single week. Next week, we're gonna be doing a little craft, a DIY tea light candle holder, simple and cute, lots of fun. If there's anything in particular you would like to learn about or have any questions, drop those down in the comments below. If you'd like to learn how to harness the power of crystals, go ahead and check that video out here. And until next time, guys, I hope love, light, and good energy find their way to you. See you next time. Physiological needs, which is re the re